Good afternoon, Frozen staff. This is Mr. Garcia. Daniel Gonzalez and I put together a series of images and videos, well, not so much videos, but screenshots, to show you how to simulcast. Now, I know a lot of you have probably a lot of doubts and concerns about how you're going to do this, especially if you don't use technology that much. However, we are here to help you out. I know that there's a lot of things going on right now with face-to-face -face planning and things like that. And you're probably saying, well, I got to learn this new thing, this and that. But please look at this as a positive thing because we're trying to help you use technology in a way that's going to be effective for you, for the students, and how we roll out instruction. So the tech objective in this recording is to set up, mirror your Mac with the Apple TV to create a Google Meet and present content and video cast your classroom space whiteboard with an iPad. Mirror in your Mac to the Apple TV. Now I know that a lot of you have done this before, but I'm willing to bet that some of you probably have never done it because maybe you haven't worked with Apple products. So here is how you mirror your Mac to the Apple TV. It's basically mirroring means whatever you show on your laptop is going to show up on a nice bigger TV so you can students in class see it. However, we are going to be using it to project a Google Meet with students and present something on your laptop. So the first thing you do is right around here when you open your laptop, there's a little mirror, there's a little Apple TV, there's a little TV icon with a black arrow like this. There's a little TV icon right in here. There's a TV icon with a black arrow. You find it and when you click on it, you need to find your room number. For example, my room number is B101. So B101 is going to show up in here somewhere. Now, I will let you know that some of the rooms in our building have had names changed because teachers changed them to their name. And this kind of created a problem because those teachers are, some of those teachers are no longer here. So it, if you find yourself in this situation, uh, maybe ask Karina or somebody to let you know who had your room so you know what name of that teacher. Hopefully, they have all been cleared and it shows your room number. Basically, what this means is my B101 is a, sort of like a channel that only I can mirror with my laptop. I mean, other teachers can come in your room and mirror also. However, it's designated for you to be in your room. So once you find your room number, you click on it. right in here after you click on it after you click on your room number the Apple TV will give you a code you have to type in the prompt screen that pops up on your Mac screen just like this you take this number and you type it in here so it accepts the mirroring or the pairing of the two After you mirror, you find the use as separate display function right here. You see it right here. It says use as separate display. But you really have to do this after you have paired the laptop with your Apple TV. You do this after. So you go into your little TV once more. And then you come down here and you press or you click on use as separate display. Next, you start your Google Meet from your Google Classroom link. We really strongly advise that you use the Classroom link because if you create one from your browser, you need to give it a code that you are going to need to log in with your iPad. And we'll show you that later here in a second. Now, here's the important thing. You see Daniel in here, right? What he has done is after he's mirrored and got everything ready what he is doing is he's dragging his google meet with his cursor this way to the right and what this does is he shows the google meet on the apple tv okay you don't see the, once you drag your google meet this way you're not going to see anything here because that's that space is going to be saved to present whatever it is a 
that you're presenting and then I'm going to show you that in a second. So once you start your Google Meet on your Google Classroom, you go this way and then you move it and it's going to show up on your Apple TV. You drag it. This is how it looks like. You won't see it here, but you'll see it on your Apple TV. So once again, once this meet right here is what Daniel started on the Mac. OK, so now we are ready to look for a material, Google Slides, a web page, a PDF, a Google document, a Google sheet, a Google whatever. OK, if you're playing a game or if you're doing something, if you're projecting whatever, you need to find it and get it ready to project it to the Google, to the students that you're going to be showing up in here. OK, now, ideally, you, you was, if Daniel had a lot of students that joined him, you would see them all in here. OK, but obviously we didn't have students or other teachers in here. So now that we have moved our Google Meet, dragged it on our laptop to the right and showed it on the Apple TV, we are ready to present something. I hope you're following me up to this point. Please ask questions if you don't understand as we go, as you go to this recording. OK. Next, you notice how Daniel you see Daniel in here? He maximized his screen. He made it bigger. He clicked on the little green icon on his window so he can you can see him bigger in here. And then all your students are going to be in here. <coughs> Excuse me. So next, you find out what you're going to present like Daniel was doing right here. A slides, an article, Google document, like I said before. We will show you how to project your whiteboard, for example, for math examples, using an iPad as a display for home and in-class students. And it will show you how to do that in the coming slides. However, right now, we want to stay a little basic. Once you maximize your Google Meet in here, then you find whatever it is that you're going to find. And this is a Google slide presentation, a sample one. OK, so what this means is whatever you project on here, is going to be seen by students in here. I hope that makes sense because you're using two displays. You're using this to display your Meet and then you're using your laptop to display a presentation, Google Slides, anything. All right. After you have your material ready to present, you click on Present Now. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this, but I'm showing, you, I'm showing it to you again. So once you find your Google Slide presentation, you go into your Meet and then you click on present now, which is down here. I'm sure a lot of you have done it. And then you click on the tab. And then it's going to, this prompt pops up. And then you click on your presentation or web page or game or Google Doc, Google Sheet or PDF, whatever it is you got going on. All right. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do that by now. Okay. So this is where it gets a little tricky. So. You notice this presentation here? Daniel has already presented that. You are now presenting this presentation to these students in here. If they, obviously, in an ideal Google Classroom, you would have all the kids in here. All right, so now we're presenting. All right, so students in class can see your presentation if they are logged into your Meet while you simulcast to students at home. So if all this, if you had 10 students in class and if you had 10 students logged on or more, the students in class can log into your Meet even though they're still in class. However, they would follow your presentation as well even though they're in class. Now, the other basic option you can do is you can also present the normal way to students in class and at home. Set up your Google Meet the normal way, but you're going to mirror up here whatever it is that you're presenting. Okay. Now make sure your students in class can see what you present by adjusting the size of what you present. Now the disadvantage of this method is that your Google Meet's going to be a little smaller. So perhaps you might make it a little impersonal. So what I do is I present something. I'm going to put the pointer right here. So from here and this way would be my Google Meet. So basically visualize this. All this Google Meet would be shrunk to, because I'm going to pull the tab 
I'm going to pull my Google Meet out. I know I've shown some of you how to do this. And then you have a bunch of tabs up here. So you open your Google Meet and then you drag it this way. So you're only going to have about this much of the Google Meet and then what you present on this side. I hope that makes sense. The disadvantage is that you don't see all the kids. Where in this one, you do. Okay? Now, if you want to present the basic way, like this way I showed you, uh, make sure that the students see the presentation, that it's big enough by adjusting it. Okay, moving on. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky by using the iPad as another display with a camera to show what you're doing in class to students at home. Because obviously, for example, if Kate, Miss Bars is showing an example of an equation and math, obviously the students in class would see her because they're there, obviously, right? But if we have ten, if Miss Bars has ten students at home that she wants to see, that she wants them to see whatever she's doing on the, on her board, you'll be able to do this with an iPad, and this is how you do this. Okay. Once you have everything set up like this, you keep your same setup. Now, what you do, this is important right here. You log into the Google Meet app on your iPad, and then you join your main Meet projecting on your Mac through either a code, ideally not a code, ideally through a Google Classroom link. Either you have your Google Classroom link on your iPad, or you can always get the information from this Meet, for example, joining info, and then you type it in to the Google Meet on the iPad. What you see right here is an iPad, okay? iPad with a camera on. So you would see this up here and then the students and then the students would see what you're doing right here okay so basically that's what that does now students can pin the presentation on their iPads by clicking on their screens and selecting pin as you see Daniel has demonstrated that's here so they they click on the screen and then they pin the presentation to their iPads, okay? So now all these students are going to be in here, and then this is going to be showing right here. This iPad is going to be showing here and projecting to this these students like that. Let me run that by you again. So once you have your setup I showed you how to do, and you grab the music stand that we showed that they gave us so you put the ipad facing the camera towards the whiteboard like daniel has shown here so the this is the ipad the camera obviously showing to the front so if miss bars was here writing on the board with her ipad it would show in here and then in essence they would see it and then the students in class would see what Miss Bars is doing anyway. So they have to see it. They can see it in person. But the goal is to, to show it to these guys right here, to these students. Through here, I'm going to do that again. This, once you hook up your iPad to this right here, this is going to show up here. And then the students in here are going to see this what miss bars is doing in class so i hope that makes sense you can review and rewind this thing to make sure you are comfortable doing that procedure okay so i hope this is something that is going to help you daniel and i are going to be helping you guys tomorrow helping you set this up and then in the future we'll we'll show you how to set up microphones and uh, lapel microphones and how to sync all that stuff so that's going to come later okay we, we just want you to get the basics right now on how to set up mirroring set up a google meet present something and then hook up your ipad to use it as a display to show these guys in here so i hope this is useful for you please save it so you can go step by step as we show you what to do so i hope this is helpful for you